All right, so today we're taking a look at Sifu. Now I've seen a uh, a few review score number for the game, and personally, after having played it, I feel like uh, it's a little bit higher. I think um, I wouldn't call the game uh, overrated, but I feel like it uh, the score is a little bit higher than um, I would give it. Uh, personally, if I was to give it a score, I would give it a seven. But first, uh, the ultra-wide support for the game is actually not too bad. Um, if you have a 3440x1440p 1440 monitor, it looks like uh, it, the ultra-wide should be perfect. Um, however, everything is perfect for me, but I noticed during uh, some cutscene, there is a little bit of a very minor black bars on the left and right. Since I do have a 3840x1600 uh, monitor size, there's a tiny black bars on each side during uh, some in-game cutscene but gameplay menu and everything else does fill the screen nicely in 21 by 9 for an indie title the game does have a very nice range of options uh one thing that's missing though is the fov and that is definitely a big one because the camera is very close up to the character and i found that uh, at a lot of time very uh frustrating during combat especially when you're surrounded by multiple enemies that camera can be a little frustrating sometimes and uh, it on occasion actually multiple times uh, will get you killed because of the way the camera is uh, how close up it is I don't know if it's it's that way because it's used to mask the loading because once you load into a level there is actually no loading until you finish that area and then move on back onto your hub area but yeah, there's no loading during um, gameplay, so that's good. Now in the video setting, uh, it, there is DLSS, but I, I don't see um, AMD uh, fidelity or anything like that. So at least it supports DLSS for you NVIDIA user. As for the control, you can use a controller or a mouse and keyboard. However, I prefer to use the controller because uh, Although you can play the game with a mouse and keyboard, uh, I found it a little bit less um, awkward to use uh, a controller over a keyboard because the, there is some input, even though you can remap the keys, I just found it a little bit more natural when it comes to these type of games to use controller. Uh, but like I said, you could play a mouse and keyboard. Uh, you will definitely have to uh, key mine a lot of them though because uh, it's just the way the, the layout is. It's uh, some moves can be difficult to uh, uh, to pull off just because of its default bind key is extremely awkward. Uh, but yep, there is the option. So for you fanatic that uh, is pure keyboard and mouse, you do have that option to play the game. Now Sifu is a good game, but I feel like the combat still feels a bit too floaty for my taste. Uh, especially during the kicks and punch, it just feels like... Um, it doesn't have that nice impact, that nice connection, um, especially the sound effect. Uh, if you play a game uh, like Sleeping Dog, you know, even though the combat for Sleeping Dog is not as detailed as, say, something like Sifu, but it just feels really impactful when you're punching and kicking enemies and the sound effect is nice. Um, you know, that those two things are very important when it comes to, uh, you know, hit detection and how you feel about it. I don't get that with this game, even though it's a lot more advanced than something like Sleeping Dog. But, um, I, I mean, Sleeping Dog is kind of a AAA game, but then again, that is a 8-9 year old game now. So, And also, I don't feel the combat is as responsive uh, as it should be. There's a lot of time that uh, I felt like I've already did a perfect dodge or a perfect block. But it doesn't seem to ever pull it off, so it just feels a bit clunky and a bit unresponsive. Um, I'm not sure if it's just my game or it's just me, but um, that's just the way I felt when I was playing it. Alright, so that's just my take on Sifu. Um, I feel like it's a decent game. Uh, just a little surprise on some of the uh, high score, like 8s and 9s. But uh, if you decide to pick it up, have fun, and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Peace out.